in our armed forces to protect the many freedoms that each of us enjoy. Today, we salute you. Today, we are honored to have veterans among us, and many of you in this audience may have friends and family that have served or are currently serving in the armed forces right now. To the veterans that are with us here today, and to the families of veterans, we thank you and we will not forget the sacrifices that you have made for each of us. Candidate School. 
He graduated in 2019 at the top of his class and was commissioned as a second lieutenant at Camp Smith, which is located in northern Westchester County. Today, he serves as a platoon leader in Bravo Company, 1st Battalion, 69th Infantry Regiment, the Fighting 69th. Please welcome our guest speaker, 2nd Lieutenant Mitchell Stover. Women were not allowed to work, 
or receive an education beyond the age of eight years old. Music, apart from religious chants, was banned, and so were and TVs and cinema were forbidden. Many of the freedoms and liberties that we take for granted here were stripped from the Afghan people due to this violent and hostile regime. I am proud to say that I helped fight against such tyranny. I am also proud to say that the Afghan army today has reached a force of roughly 180,000 as they continue their fight against the Taliban. I am hopeful and confident that one day their struggles for freedom will soon come to a peaceful conclusion. Having served overseas and traveled to many different places throughout my Army career, I have gained a new perspective on the importance of things and that before joining I really took for granted. Things like a warm bed to sleep in, things like electricity, medicine, most of all, I'm truly grateful for the education that I received here in White Plains. The education that I received in White Plains was truly first class. Many people, some even within this country of ours, do not have the same opportunities afforded to you here in White Plains. Now, I would be lying to you if I said that I was a straight-A student, and uh, Mr. Stevens can certainly attest to this, wherever he is. <laughs> Many people say they live their life without regret. Well, I can tell you that is not the case for me. Uh, my biggest regret is not fully, like, fully utilizing the privileges that were provided to me here at White Plains School. I really wish, you know, I did my best. If you do well here, the opportunities for you to be successful will truly be exponentially greater. To be completely honest with you, I've never been the greatest public speaker. When I was a sergeant, the most amount of people I addressed was no more than a platoon, which is about 40. As a lieutenant in the Army, it is now my job to improve upon my leadership, including public speaking. I want to thank all of you with such a large group for helping me to improve my training and having me here to speak to you all today. Thank you.
The items that we collect will show our gratitude to those brave men and women who serve in the U.S. Uh, Armed Forces. Thank you to all who have already donated to our soldiers. We have many more items that will be collected and mailed to our soldiers.
tribute to our honored guest and speaker, Second Lieutenant Mitchell Stobel. Thank you to all of the students and teachers who were involved in today's program. We would most especially like to thank our veterans.